27 cm height in 8 hours and 16 minutes. Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang, and this is Mega 8KS in-depth test and review. Mega 8KS build size is 10 cm shorter compared to the original Mega 8K. The front touchscreen is also smaller. The design is less boxy and looks kinda cool. It has a flip up cover, but it takes quite some space to the back of the printer. This is roughly the amount of space you need behind the printer. But original Mega 8K also has its own problem because the door opened to the side. Honestly, I was confused when I first learned about Mega 8KS. Why would Frozen make it 10cm shorter? But when I think of it again, for 2 years I've been using Mega 8K for mass prints and even big statues that I printed because they are cut into several parts, I never print beyond 3cm height. And I find myself somewhat feeling funny for never print Mega 8K 40cm full height. But that's just me. Opening the accessories box feels kinda premium, all thanks to this black envelope which contains the warranty card and Chitubok free license for 3 months. Let's look at Mega 8K as cover. The cover hinge is very well designed. It won't slam shut just in case you accidentally let go of the door. USB port located at the front, power plug and the switch at the back along with two big fans. And you could attach your air filter system here. Just for fun, let's have a peek inside. The build plate, although seems similar with Mega 8K build plate, but it is not the same. The handle part is slightly taller because the build arm is much thicker. There is a built-in drip hanger at the build arm. But you could remove the hanger if you don't need it. Make sure to carefully close the cover when you hang the plate, cause this happens. Mega 8KS use the same ball screw and linear rail size like the original Mega 8K. And they are covered well with grease. On dial indicator test, moving the build arm and down, it gives one of the best results I ever see. But when moving it side to side, the dial is moving. Hopefully my stability torture test can give better result. For the resin tank, it comes with ACF field, no max line indicator, and it has fit that match the slot on the platform. Original Mega 8K resin tank doesn't have fit, but it can fit well in Mega 8KS. Here, you could install the automatic resin pump. In the touchscreen menu, you could see the function. Unfortunately, since I don't have it, I cannot test it. The screen has shipping protector film, and you could use it as screen guard. Just carefully remove the red tab and use Captain tape to seal the edge. Mega 8KS use LED matrix, the light intensity ranging from 4.2 to 5.8. The cover does a very good job blocking UV light. It is not a quiet printer, but not loud still within acceptable noise range. I often see original Mega 8K users complain about the perforated build plate, from object hard to remove from the plate or resin cured in the holes. Most of them has bottom exposure more than 30 seconds, some even at 65 seconds. So, if your exposure is more than 20 seconds, you definitely need to relevel your build plate. My Mega 8KS bottom exposure is only at 10 seconds, so it seems like this is the benefit of ACF field. For test print result, I have some fewer requests comparing Mega 8KS to original Mega 8K, also to Mighty 12K. 
here you go. As usual, the first test is stability torture test. Although I have concern during dial indicator test, the print result prove otherwise. I do not see any wobble or bending from my stability torture test, but I can see it suffer from blooming because the high speed printing. But it is a stable printer. For large printer like Mega 8KS, untilizing is very important because it is such a waste of time to send all this voxel smooth, especially for large printer. You could guess that most user will print large object and most have flat or curved surface where voxels tend to show up. The scale dimension on Mega 8KS is very good. Checking the X axis, it is spot on 20 millimeter. Then the Y axis, uh, can I also say it is also spot on? I printed Mirror the Red Panda on Mega 8KS and the original Mega 8K. I got nothing to say except they both seem similar, at least to my eye. Original Mega 8K used PFA and Mega 8KS used ACF. But comparing these two print, I'm not sure I see any difference at all. Yes, both printer are 43 micron. Maybe such resolution are not affected by ACF matte surface at all. I know there's debate whether ACF causing loss of details or not. But my test on Mighty 12K using ACF and NFVP, I don't see any difference in print quality at all. The same result with this letter model, uh, I think. I printed this model that I call Lady Techno Samurai. It is my monthly release for my Patreon using Mighty 12K and Mega 8KS. The difference is very clear from the facial details. They are much more visible on Mighty 12K at the lab. On Mega 8KS, the facial details barely exist at all. The chest armor details and some battle damage details way sharper on Mighty 12K compared to Mega 8KS. What do you guys think about the details on Mega 8KS compared to Mighty 12K? Please comment below. Printing large object, this is where Mega 8KS shines. First, let me remind you to always top up your resin, or just get the automatic resin pump. Cause you might end up with this bubble spot when your model lifts up higher than the resin level. Aside from that, the details are awesome. Just for your information, everything printed hollow with wall thickness only 1mm. This Lady Techno Samurai model is printed at 1 third scale size, and the result is just awesome. I am lost for words. Now, let us look at the speed printing. Disclaimer, the setting I am about to share is not the fastest speed the printer could achieve because honestly, I don't like super fast speed because the risk of having bad print lines. And do not use standard resin for fast speed print. You will see why in a moment. On the right is printed at fast speed and on the left with moderate speed. On first glance, both seems to have the same result. But if you take a closer look on the fast speed print, you will have blooming if you use standard resin. You should use high speed resin or as Frozen suggested, use TR300 resin. Moderate speed setting give much cleaner surface print result and I think this will be my best print setting for Mega 8KS. Here is the print setting or if you are my patron, you could download the setting right away in my Patreon. If you are interested with Frozen Mega 8KS, please use the link in video description. I get small commission with no extra cost to you. It also helps to show how valuable my review to the company, so they will keep working with me 
and you can always find printer product in the review in my channel to help you decide your next printer purchase. I think it's a good move from Frozen to release Mega 8KS for people that focus on mass print object or like me that never print beyond 3cm high. And the flip top cover, although it takes up space behind the printer, but unlike the original Mega 8K door that takes space to the side, I can still place other printer to the side of Mega 8KS and it is great if you have limited space. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, like, and share this video. And if you want to support my channel directly, you could check my Patreon link in video description. This Lady Techno Samurai model is available to download for patrons. Bye! Thank you Terry Van Winkle and The Freight Brush for becoming my patron.